Hey guys, so today I am actually doing a first impression on this Elsie foundation. Um, so I've got that on and I thought I would do a little chit chat, get ready with me for the rest of my makeup. And if you think your eyes are playing tricks on you and you think that my shoulders and my face don't match, don't worry, my face and shoulders don't match. I put the foundation down my neck just so that it all matched like hair, but yeah, the shoulders are a little bit pale compared to my face. I really wanted to try this out today, so I just made it work. I should have really put fake tan on, but I could not be bothered. So yeah, today I think I'm going to do something quite dramatic. I feel like doing something maroon or something like that, like something quite dark. I'm gonna start with the Pro Conceal by Ella Girl in Natural. Look how much I've used of this, like it's almost run out. Feeling very impressed with myself. I usually lose my concealers some how before I get to use them up completely. Don't ask how because I don't know but they just always seem to go walkabouts. And then I'm going in with my petal brush just to blend this in. What am I doing? I should be doing my face makeup first because if I'm doing dramatic eyes, too late. I love the way this concealer looks on my skin. Just works so well for me. And then I'm using the other side of my brush with the Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX06. And I'm just using this over these bad boys. And now I'm using the yellow powder from my NYX contour kit just to set my concealer. I'm using a Shimmer Tulip brush to apply this. I'm using that yellow powder on top of the breakout concealer too to neutralize the redness. I like to pack it on. It looks crazy, but once I put on my face powder, which I'm gonna do now, it'll blend it out a little bit. I'm going to use this Cojun Doe Natural Lighting Powder. I'm gonna use some of the puff and then just kind of mush that on. And then going in with my powder brush, I'm just blending that in and out. In and out. <laughs> All right, the skin is done. I'm just using some of the Manuka Doctor Lip Enhancer just on my lips to moisturize. I think I'm going to contour, blush, and highlight later. I wanna start my eye makeup first. And today I thought I would use my Melt Dark Matter stick because I really wanna do something maroon. I haven't done maroon in a while, so that's what's happening. I'm gonna start with the shade Blur, which is this top one here. And I'm gonna put this in the crease. And I'm just using a fluffy blender brush for this. And I'm just putting this in the crease so it's a bit of a transition color so that the darker colors are a little bit easier to kind of blend on top. Now I'm taking the shade Unseen with a firm blender brush and I'm going to go kind of right on top of that other color and just continue to blend. This look includes a shit ton of blending. My arm hurts. This is how we are looking so far. So now I'm taking the most beautiful shade. This is Enigma, dark maroon red. I'm gonna use my firm blender brush again to apply this. Now you can use a base on your eye if you want, but today I'm just going this straight in. So first I'm kind of using this brush to pat it on, and then we're gonna start blending it up when it reaches the crease. And the reason I'm using this brush is because it deposits a lot of color, but it still blends and it just makes it so much easier to get that really blown out effect where it just looks like soft, you know what I mean? See what I mean? So that is not blended properly yet, but already it just looks really soft. So I'm gonna build up the intensity of the color on the lid and then back in with the fluffy blender. Again, just softening everything. And then the exact same thing on the other eye. Now I'm gonna take the dark meta shade, like the black shade, and take the smallest amount of my brush and then mix it with the maroon color. Just so you get this really dark maroon and I'm gonna kind of aim this on the outer edge of the lid. And then use more maroon if you need to to help the blending. This just gives a little bit more depth to the eye look. I'm gonna use that brown color on my firm blender brush and just run that right underneath my eyes. So I want it all to look really smoky. And then I'm mixing the maroon on top of that just to kind of blend everything together. So I'm gonna leave that there before I do any eyeliners or brows or anything. I'm gonna go back to my face makeup. I'm gonna use the Matte Park Ave Princess by Tarte Bronzer and then a medium face brush just to warm up my skin. Now I'm gonna use a contour fan brush to contour my face and I'm just gonna use this color and this color mixed together from the NYX kit.
The lighting is so bad right now. I can't even see what I'm doing. I will just do my best. Okay, so <laughs> for my blush today, I'm using Clinique Nude Pop. And this is a tapered fiber brush. And then to highlight, I'm going to try this one by Ofra. This is called You Do You. It looks like a beautiful color and these are super pigmented. I have swatched one of them on my hand before. And I'm going to use a shimmer fan brush to apply this to my cheekbones. And then I'm using a little bit on my finger right on that nostril, nostril, nostril. I'm actually going to take a little bit on my brow bone just to highlight. And my inner corner. This highlighter is so intense. It does kind of accentuate um, bumps on your skin because it's so intense and so, I guess, shimmery. So just keep that in mind, but it is very reflective if that's what you like. I might do the lip color now and then we will finish off with the brows and lashes. Let's stick with the very vampy, kind of slightly gothic theme of this eye makeup. This is Vampire by Kat Von D. So Vampire is a really deep kind of red color. Now back in with my Kevin and Kwan in a lip detail brush, I am going to tidy up the edges. If you want to see a lip swatch video on these liquid lipsticks, go check out the link in the down bar. I really, 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 really like these. I'm using a Chi Chi Taupe and a brow groomer. And then Ico Brow Gel. Now I'm gonna use some lashes from the party stack. I might use those ones down the second bottom. They're called the Brave. The ones in the middle I used the other day, so that's why they're not in here anymore. So before I apply these lashes, I am going to run some black eyeliner in my tight line and just across the lash line. This one here is by Stila. I'm also gonna put it in my waterline too. So I've just drawn a line and I'm gonna use that dark color again on a pencil brush and just smudge that. And I'm just using a short shadow brush, just patting on top of that as well, just so it all blends really, really well together. Okay, now we are ready for the lashes. So with this particular pair, I did trim a little bit off the inner corner because I wanted to keep the length. Now I'm using the It Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara on my lower lashes. And then for my top lashes, I'm just gonna use Roller Lash by Benefit today. And it's just gonna blend the falsies with my real lashes. So that is the completed makeup look. I feel like my lipstick's a little bit patchy. <laughs> I should have used a lip liner. I'm gonna use some ColourPop Dahlia just over top. So that definitely looks a little bit better. It doesn't feel any different. If you're wondering, it doesn't feel too heavy. That was a fail on my behalf. So the lighting is going really bad. So I'm gonna wrap up this video now. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Something a little bit fun, something a little bit dramatic. I feel like this eye makeup would look really beautiful with a nude lip as well. If you didn't wanna go all out with your makeup and you wanted it to be a little bit more wearable. I just love burgundy eye makeup. Like burgundy red eye makeup just looks so seductive. I love it. And I feel like these lashes just completely topped off the look. They looks so cool and so dramatic. Here's a little close-up of the makeup for you. So yeah, if you did enjoy this makeup tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Hey guys, if you want to watch some more videos, the video on the left of the screen is a get ready with me, chit chat get ready with me. And the video on the right is a first impression on this amazing foundation. I'm in love with it. Like, definitely check it out, you guys. It's so good. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I'll also link these links down below. Love you.